Well, asante sana. Ni mmekuwa nimenyamaza nikiangalia mambo ya nchi vile inaenda. Na imefika pale nikaona ni mzuri kuweza kuzungumza na kuzungumzia mambo ya amani kwa sababu wana Kenya walipiga kura. Na walipiga kura kwa haki yao kulingana na katiba na utaratibu na ikafanyika. So mimi ningeomba sana 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 sana. Kitu ya muhimu baada hata hii uchaguzi na mambo yote ni amani yetu ya Kenya lazima tuweke amani. Mungu alitupa nafasi mzuri, watu wengi kwa serikali hawakutarajia kutakuwa na amani. Hata wale watu wanahusika na kutarajia na kutabili sehemu ambaye itaweza kuwa ni mbaya commission wengine walitarabia vibaya, wakatabili vibaya, wakajaribu kutukuma majeshi, ma security, lift valley, wapi? ati kutakuwa na shida kutakuwa na vita hawakujua kuna Mungu mbinguni and what about it kenyans and especially what we are living today hakuna damu ama tone imemwagika kwa sababu ya siasa hii tumekuwa naye lakini mafikirio ilikuwa imewekwa juu sana baka na serikali ya kusema kutakuwa na shida and i think also they spend a lot of money kuweka mashikali kila pahali nini lakini wananchi wa Kenya na washukuru kwa sababu hasa Rift Valley tulichokoswa tukawekwa kidole kwa mapua ili tuweze kuwa na shida lakini haikuwezekana kati ya watu sisi na wakanijin wa Kikuyu na wakanijin na ile watu wengine wanakaa Rift Valley kwa sababu kunakaa kabila nyingi ilijaribiwa katikati ya kikuna wa Kalenjin wako sana ikakuwa shida. Wakawidi wakaenda kwa kwama kwa mukikuyu na mukikuyu kupiganisha. Na kabila zingine na kabila zingine haikuwezekana. Administration chief ma PS yote they came there with money with bags kwa sababu hasa tunajua ile pesa ilikuwa ya tunasemekana ni ya unga 8 billion. Hiyo pesa walichukua tu ya kufanya siasa naye hata mama Karua alisema akiwa kitali hiyo pesa iko kwa mfuko ya watu Munya akasema hiyo pesa imeibiwa so those cannot be excuses <coughs> ilikuwa tu ni mpangilio ya kutoa pesa na kuiba haikuwa mpango mwingine lakini juu ya yote hiyo pesa imesunguka kuharibu siasa ya Kenya na sijaona siasa ambaye imekuwa serikali imetumia pesa kama siasa ya mwaka hii Nimeona siasa ya mwaka hii serikali au spend I don't know how many billions ya kuharibu siasa na ya kuhakikisha wameshinda. Lakini mimi ningesema hivi. Mambo haya yote I'm blaming the president himself. Uhuru mwekai Kenyatta. And I've been saying from the word go. Na naomba watu waende kwa Facebook zangu na Twitter zangu zote waangalie. Tangu nilianza Nikasema Muhuru akiwa Mombasa na Leila na kina Joho akatwita washenzi. Akakuja kwa bunge akafukuza sisi wote ile watu kwa kwa jibili. Akafanya vitendo yote ile alifanya ya kusumbua sisi. Akaanza kupiga deputy president kwa njia zote kwa hali na mali na kila kitu yote. Na nikaambia Leila Odinga na nikalia muangalia tweet yangu hiyo. Nikisema je, mimi ni mshenzi wewe ni mshenzi? utaona nikiambia Leila Odinga tafadhali na kuomba na nikafanya maombi kubwa sana nikiwa na kuru demonstration wachana na uhuru mwekai Kenyatta kwa sababu hakuna mtu mnashikanaga naye na usiharibu hakuna mtu mnatembeaga naye na usimpake mafi anuke na we unabaki ukisema yeye ni msafi wacha niwaambie nchi hii kuna Mungu mbinguni na Mungu ninawaambia wananchi wala watu wanaomba kila siku wakitembea kwa makanisa kwa sababu ya amani ya nchi hii Mungu anawasikia na hasa hii ya juzi mimi nauliza hii shida yote mpaka hii ya kesini kusukuma hii mambo kotini yote it's back up ni uhuru mwekai Kenyatta he is the one who is behind the whole thing can i prove why am i saying that unaona juzi kwake katundu baka mutomo ameshindwa Station yake ilipiga kura. Na akazungumzia watu na ni siku ambayo ilikuwa si siasa. Haikufanya kazi. Ila got eight wakati huo Ruto alipata 300 na kitu. 
so hajakubali wananchi wana demokrasia kupiga kura bado wanafuatilia kuharibu until the last minute why am i saying this mombasa kulifanywa uchaguzi ya gavana uchaguzi uliofanywa kwa huko it was according to me free and fair na ukiona 2017 jibili ambaye uhuru ndio alikuwa candidate tulikuwa na kitu kama 27% this time ya Samoe Arapruto ambaye ndio rais wetu sasa ule tunakojea na tunatarajia he pushed from that figure up to 44% what are we saying about 44% Aliye shinda governor alikuwa na 111. UDA ilikuwa na 98. It's almost 50-50. Thank you. UDA, thank you. Rais wetu Samuel Abruto because you pushed. You have made change. A big one in Mombasa. Nobody can be proud that he is a winner. Na hata nakubali aliyechukua uongozi ya governor Mombasa alisema kwa sababu ni mtu mwerevu nitafanya kazi na watu yote hata wale tulikuwa napingana nao that was a very good statement lakini baadaye uhuru anaenda huko for incitement anaenda kutokea barabara na ni mlevi eh anaanza kuzunguka huko akishangilia akisema nini na nini na nini mimi nakuuliza uhuru mwingine Kenyatta yani nasa umeharibu nchi mpaka sasa umeenda Mombasa kugawanyisha wakati watu wamepika kura 50 50 azimio 50 UD is almost 50. Kwa sababu it's a percent ukiangalia it was inaikuwa nafuatana namna hii. Sasa wao naenda kugawanyisha watu mpaka Mombasa. Kasa kama ukawanyisha Mombasa unaenda kushangilia na kwa kwa mtomo ulishindwa. Wewe. Si ukubali rais wewe ukubali. Na mimi naomba watu waweke zaidi maombi kwa uhuru mwe Kenyatta. Matarajio yake ya kuharibu nchi hii isiwezekane. We are in the final stage ili ashindwe aende apumzike awache pressure. Kwa sababu nasema hivyo kwa nini? Kama ni rais mzuri na ni wa kuunganisha watu. Kitu ya kwanza hii mvulutano iko na mambo ya Supreme Court. Angekuwa ametoa statement kwa kuambia wananchi wa Kenya ambaye ni pendao ambaye mmechagua mara mbili na waomba kesi imeenda kotini iko Supreme Court mfumilie na mkuwe na amani matokeo ya Supreme Court tunatarajia ikitokea tutaheshimu matokeo ya Supreme Court kwa sababu that is the last resort hiyo ndio statement yangetoa lakini sasa anajificha tu kwa chini ya kinsight kutuma kina kenywa mkubwa ya majeshi na nani wengine anawatuma waende kwa IBC delegation kwenda kutengeneza ati kwa nini uchaguzi hajatangazwa The same people are saying 27 counties were not counted. Na ilikuwa counted on online. Tunajua hata ile mpango alikuwa naye. Isipokuwa Inspector General walikataana na hiyo maneno. Ilikuwa hijack mkubwa IBC. Ili asitangaza matangazo ili siku moja ikwishe akisemekana anatafutwa kwa sababu alikataa kuchukua hongo ndio kuwe na crisis constitutional crisis kwa sababu deadline was monday walikuwa na mteka kushika yeye siku hiyo and that's why i can say that and i can prove that ulendama how can you reach somewhere nyi mkuu huko kuliko kusikisa haki na kutii sheria ya nchi ya Kenya mnaenda kupiga chipkati na viti and I agree and I'm asking one thing I've had in in, in Supreme Court I don't want to talk about it kwa sababu iko kotini lakini hakuna hatua imeshukuliwa the worst offense ya kupiga chipkati mtu ambaye anaenda kuamua siasa ya nchi hii akapigwa na ofisa wake na gurei na hakuna sheria imeshukuliwa kwa sababu who will stand for that na ile mpango walikuwa naye how can you interfere with IBC kinakenywa na grupu yake yote 
ata wanaenda huko kusema iharakishwe atena kama sio lile tatoka hata surely is that not uh, kunish na hiyo ndi kupindua serikali the process was good walikuwa natangaza baka mwisho what happened the last minute what happened dakika ya mwisho is kwa sababu chibukati alikataa vile walikuwa nataka and i want to tell you hii yote backup yake ni uhuru mwekei kenyata leave this country free you have enough and you are going to be protected according to the law lakini wacha wana kenya wakuwe na amani tafadhali na kuomba na wachungaji wote naomba tuombe rais wetu outgoing uhuru mwekei kenyata baada amefika awachane na imapo ya nchi aende akubali miaka yake kumi tulimpea na mlimuombea wakati kwa naenda Hague na ikaisha and i'm asking kenya you are too old kenya let me tell you ninajua hata uko ukitaka kulitaa unakatazwa you want to tu unataka kulitaa kwa Hague wewe unataka kulitaa kwa Hague because according to me kulingana na sheria hiyo mpangilio yote ilikuwa iko ni kama kupindua serikali it's a treason na mpaka hao commissioner I don't want to interfere with that lakini ngoja tukoje court vile itaamua lakini court ikiamua these people are supposed to face the court of law and I asking William Samaya Ruto Mungu akikusaidia na mimi naona itakwisha uchukue serikali please learn from the past learn from the past mambo ya kukubali kuingiza ma girlfriend pahali na familia na nini uchunge sana kwa sababu ndio imetuletea shida sasa the problem we have is that how are two other commissioners they are related their girlfriend tafadhali sekali yetu ya UDA tafadhali my deputy president ukipata nafasi tafadhali wacha watu wale wanahitajika wakuwe hapo and i also advise you kwa sababu naona chukua hii serikali mambo ya kusema ku balance It is good to balance but get the people who are committed with this country who are committed in this country give them positions kulingana na wisdom yako and the way you know them because like now I'm seeing so many people are coming which is good I have no problem with that but if also you forget your diehood wako then this party coming the next second election people will not have faith but i know you have wisdom of god kwa sababu ni mtu wa mungu na nakuombea sana for the things you do kwa sababu unachukua inchi wakati iko kwa shida imegawanyishwa na ukabila and we are looking for you to balance this country kila mwana kenya pali alipo tumeona umechukua watu wa kisumu wamekuja which is very good tumechukua tumeona watu wa eastern wamekuja No this and tuliona governor wawili MP nane wamekuja. Leo nasikia kitu wanakuja na bus. Hata nasikia ni bus zimekosa meru. Za kukuja kwako. And many people I know who are in the line. I know who are coming. Pokea hawa. Wewe ni baba yetu. Pokea. Pokea kwa kuwa ni Mungu anakuletea. Hao watu. Ni Mungu amekupanga kuunganisha wana Kenya we need peace and the peace we are waiting is from you kwa sababu wewe tangu ulikuwa mtoto ni mtu wa Mungu we are waiting for the peace our deputy president na utakuwa na kazi kubwa na tutakuombea ya ku balance this country i know you are sober you don't drink eh uvuti kitu kwa hivyo Mungu atakutumia kama chombo ya kuweka wananchi wote wa Kenya bali moja na wakuwe na heshima ambaye Mungu atabariki sisi. Kenya yetu tukue na amani wananchi. Na mimi naomba hata nauliza kweli. Hata kama hii uchaguzi taesa ambiwa irudie <laughs> irudiwe. <laughs> Ruto atapata kura ambaye <laughs> hata tarajia. Kama alikuwa na milioni saba. I'm telling you you will be having from 20 kwenda from 10 kwenda 15. That's what we'll be having na nashukuru sana na ninashukuru pia ligadhi kashagua kwa sababu you got the right person administrator 
kusaidia wewe atasaidia sivu servant kuwaweka pahali wameumizwa pahali wamefinyiliwa kabisa anajua the system na watasaidia na watu wajua tunajua kupanga maneno angalia kidiki his time came ya ku present kesi muliona vile aliweza kutoa we are good people kidiki na kupongeza you give lessons bako kafanya nitoe machozi pahali nilikuwa you are a good man kidiki keep on kazi yako na kashagua also on the other side aendelee kwa kufanya kazi yake na wale watu wote wamechagua na UDA I want to advise them. This is the time kufuata deputy president tuunganishe ambaye amepewa sasa kiti ya president kuunganisha wana Kenya and to be fair free and fair in our offices ili we serve and we make change ambaye itaonekana ni change ambaye Kenya haikutarajia. Ya kwanza matarajio yangu na vile ninaona. Moilism tumemaliza. Odingalism imekwisha. Kenyatalism imekwisha. We are in a new generation. If this will not change this country, then we shall not have any other hope. Especially me kwa miaka ile niko naye. Tegemeo yangu ni hapa kwa deputy president. If it will not work, I will never be interested to talk about politics. Kwa sababu tegemeo yangu na Mungu. Mi si ni pombe, mi si mwenda azimu, but I'm seeing muangalie tweeting zangu zote what I've been talking and the problem why it is you be able to know mimi ni mtu wa Mungu na ni mtu wa kuomba na Mungu na ni Mungu ananipa mwaaidha fulani wananchi tuache spring court iamue ina wa mama na wazee ambaye wanapenda nchi yetu ya Kenya muwape nafasi waamue na ile wataamua we shall be ready for it and you remember when the president said you not repeat the person who persuaded him to the deputy president akamwambia no let's respect the court we know ataheshimu court na tunajua vile alisema court ilikuwa anataka kuweka watu wengine wa kuachunguza na nini na nini wakuwe juu ya spring court na kila kitu he stood on the law and he refused i said no let's judicially be free the arms of the government be free and with the wisdom you have with working with all people it is very important but let me finish on saying uhuru your hand inaonekana utaingiza watu wengi kwa shida ukienda we want to consult hata watu wale walikuwa wako wamedanganya kwa sababu ya pesa na position some of the civil servant we cannot blame them they had no choice kuchunga mishahara yao na kazi yao they had to do bad things kwa sababu wewe ndio ulikuwa na wasukuma madisi nini we are asking rais wetu mtarajiwa William Ruto ambaye tumekuchagua kama na Kenya forgive all those people bring them back and forgive them because it was not them it is only you the deputy president who agreed to refuse the direction of the outgoing the president na mimi nilikuwa hapo na kashagwa na wengine we are few people who refuse to be dictated or to be used to spoil this country and we stood with the truth and we say the truth will let us free and now we are going the hair the truth will let us free and i want to remind people kenya god is with us and god will not let kenya and everybody is tired you can look at the mood of kenya everybody is tired nobody want a lot of many things and I remind people when I'm finishing when I was chairman of Kanu Nakuru the time of Moi he told me some words of wisdom and many things I got from Moi I'll never forget them he told me ngojili hawa mwakili unaona hawa hawa wakati wataanza kuingia kuchukua uongozi ya nchi ya Kenya mtaumia mtaumia ili amjaumia I've seen them in the court lying. Lying. Jumping. Eh? Being issues at a picky picky pork. What are those things in the court? What are those things you are bringing the court? Eh? I think uh, that's why even 
one of the judges said, this look like a drama. I'm a video. Because the things we are behaving and presenting is not, the, is not things, okay, I don't want to interfere with the court. Let me stop it there. Because we are waiting to hear. And I said, the Supreme Court has two things. They are peace of this country. And they can bring bloodshed in this country. Because when Kenyans know where they voted and the person who won, we don't want to have any problem in this country. Everybody was used. And I want to say, I want to apologize for electing the president outgoing without knowing him well properly. We pushed him for the work he did not wish to do. He has surrendered two times saying, I'm a watcher. As the first one, the second one, he said he doesn't want, he has a lot of work to do. They are rich, they have enough. He came back, we pushed him to come back on that. Let's have people with the career. And I ask the deputy president, please, 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 when you get this power, we should pay what to, na balance, what to they are not willing, they are not in their heart, they have no wisdom. Please check on that. If you want us to work well, pay our word to Kazi Kulingana. Na vipawa zao. That will be very important in this country. Ile watu wako na damu na mafikirio. Not greedy people who just come for their stomach. No. Please, we are praying for you. God keep peace for this country. Tupe ufumilivu. It's just few days. Tumalize hii mambo ya spring court. Na tutayashimu hawa. Yoto watasema, we shall respect on all those kind of things. And I ask the deputy president, forgive them. The ones who have done all this, ata uhudu mkei kenyata. It's not him. You remember when we were together, when we were together, when we were together, William likuwa na kuimba, William, William, William. Eh? Ata yeye, it's not him. It is something bad have entered on the spirit. Tangu siku ya isharimiwa. Na mini mukristu. And I want to say, I believed before, I'm a Christian, hakuna uchawi. Now I can change and say, kuna uchawi. Nimesoma biblia kwa njia mzuri, na nimeona, metabliwa kwa biblia iko uchawi. Please, for that spirit, itaesa kutolewa na jina ya mungu. Na naona hata wachungaji wana walikuwa na yumba yumba, nimeaza kuangalia. Vili wanaanza kujibehevu kwa sasa. But I will tell you the deputy president of Kenyans, if anything happens, mambo ya wote ikifanyika kama inatumbu ya siyasa, make sure you ask God, what can I learn from this? Na mungu atakupa. What you can learn from that? Kwangu mimi ni mwenyewe. I have something I could not run in the school. Lakini ni mejifunza kwa kuweza kuona. Tabia za watu, karekta za watu, wachungaji ya bae na wajua vile wako, Watu ambaye mbaka ni wachungaji wanaongoswa wana pesa. I've seen so many things. That experience, singa ipata paharingine, is to get in it and see. Na hiyo ni asama mwenye zimungu ni na kushukuru sana. Ni meenda through mambu ambaye singa soma pari pengine. Na kushukuru sana mwenye zimungu wa haya yote. God bless Kenya. God keep peace in Kenya. Wanainchi tukae pamoja. Tungane pamoja. It's from Monday inchi yetu tutaendelea kuwa pamoja kusaidiana kwa mazishi kusaidiana kwa harambe kusaidia kujenga makanisa and we shall continue eating together and staying together god bless kenya